In this video, we talk about what happened when we ran into an issue with .NET Core MVC page not refreshing after changes. Essentially, we made a change to the Razor page with the .cs HTML extension in .NET Core MVC and found even though we made a small change, which was only a text change, to the page when we ran IIS and refresh the page it would not show uh, the changes instantly upon refresh. We had to stop the whole project and re uh, rerun it to see the changes. You can see how this is highly inefficient. We personally tested this in .NET 5.0. Here we found a solution that we will talk about in a moment in this video. And uh, as always, you can read the description in the bro uh, blog post uh, on our blog page, which is which can be found in the description. That will walk you through the steps as well. So now let's look over here. This is an index.cshtml page. It doesn't matter which uh, which page or what you're call which controller you're calling. Uh, essentially, the CSHTML are Razor pages, and when this, when I hit IIS Express, this page will load when I go to it. But let's say I make a small text change, like add an extra period or two. It doesn't matter. Just add a couple periods to make a text change, um, and. When that um, Chrome browser happens to be open on that page, what I would expect is when I refresh that Chrome browser, and if I had made changes here and saved this page, then I should see those extra periods. But what was happening is I refresh the page and nothing shows up. I have to hit stop or exit the Chrome browser um, and restart it to see the changes be picked up. So I did a little bit of investigation and saw other people were having a similar issue. Uh, I found the Stack Overflow page. And let's uh, read this a little bit and look at the solution. Point .NET Core MVC page not refreshing after changes. I'm building a point .NET Core MVC on the latest version 2.2. I have a problem. When I make changes to the CSHTML file and refresh the page, my changes are not reflected in the browser. I have to restart the project in order to see my changes. This has been happening for a while now, so I'm not exactly sure what change caused this issue. I tried using the Chrome's empty cache and hard reload as well as other browsers to no avail. This happens on Windows and Mac using both Visual Studio for Mac and versus Code. In a default point .NET Core project, it works fine, so it must be something in my project that changed along the way. I'm wondering where I need to start in order to debug this issue. I tried commenting out almost everything in my startup point .sand program point .cs with no resolution. In my case, I'm on .NET 5.0. So quite a bit higher than the 2.2 that they happen to be on. Uh, but the solution is quite easy. Uh, this person uh, got uploaded 388 times and they uh, hit the nail on the head. So let's read through this. In ask.net core 3.0 and higher, resort view and the options point allow our computing views until a change is not available. Surprised that refreshing a view while the app is running did not work, I discovered the following solution. Microsoft.asknetcore.mvc.razor.runtime compilation new get package to the project. And the following in startup point CS. Services.add controllers with use left parenthesis right parenthesis dot add razor runtime compilation left parenthesis right parenthesis. Here's the full explanation for the curious. Razor file compilation in ask.net core. Razor files with a point CSHTML extension are compiled at both build and publish time using a Razor SDK. Runtime compilation may be optionally enabled by configuring the project. Razor compilation build time and publish time compilation of Razor files is enabled by default by the Razor SDK. When enabled, runtime compilation complements build time compilation, allowing Razor files to be updated if they are edited. In addition to build time compilation, updating Razor views and Razor pages is supported using point .NET Pod reload support for ask.net core. Enable runtime compilation for all environments. To enable runtime compilation for all environments. Install the Microsoft.asknetcore.mvc.razor.runtime compilation new get package. Call add Razor runtime compilation in program point CS. I'm essentially doing this step, but I'm doing it in startup.cs, not program.cs. 
Uh, if you read further on into this, they talk about running it conditionally based on environments, so you can do that as well. Uh, call it conditionally based on profiles uh, and other stuff. But for me, this is sufficient. Uh, I'm going to follow these steps, which are uh, get a NuGet package for this. And how you do that is you right click on your project and you click manage NuGet packages. I've already installed it, so uh, you would just search for this package, and there it is. It's installed for me. Um, notice I'm on version.NET 5.0. If I tried to go to a higher version, like one of the 6 or one of the 7s that are the pre uh, preview versions, uh, I would get an error. So I have to go to the highest version of the .NET 5 since I don't have anything higher installed. Um, if you run into errors, just bring it down to whatever .NET version you're in. If you're in 5, use the highest version of 5. If you're in 3, use the highest version of 3. And so on and so forth. This applies for other, um, other versions as well but it depends on what you're using. So I downloaded that, it's installed. Then I come down to my startup, that's CS, and one line of code. And again, it is right here in the Stack Overflow, right there, that line of code needs to be added over here. Before I only had this, now I added this. After doing so, let's go back to our index. After doing so, once I put in these extra periods or t happen to take out extra periods uh, and save it, save it. If I did have the Chrome browser running and I was on that page and I make a change to this page and I save that change and then I refresh uh, whatever browser it happens to be, in my case Chrome, then that change would be instantly reflected. So this resolves the issue. I hope you found this useful. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and ring that notification bell. It does help. Thank you. See you in the next one.